So, so Dr. Rowe, this is actually now video. You're get, what, what procedure are you getting ready to do uh, this morning? Uh, I have a patient uh, who recently had a non-ST elevation myocardial infarction involving his right coronary artery, and he has functional ischemic mitral regurgitation as well as uh, significant coronary disease affecting all three of his major coronary arteries. His ejection fraction is about 30%. His pulmonary hypertension, his pulmonary pressures are about half systemic, and he needs uh, a mitral valve repair, probably an annuloplasty ring, and uh, probably three or four coronary bypasses, an internal mammary to his LAD, and then a couple of circumflex grafts, and maybe a right. So it's a pretty, uh, sorry, pretty big, pretty big case in a and a fellow who is fairly sick. He's had some congestive heart failure and his uh, ejection fraction is depressed from normal, so he has severe mitral regurgitation. It's not mild or moderate. And so it, I've heard that isolated valve uh, cases can be anywhere from two to three to four hours. Uh, something like this, is this an all-day procedure given how complex it is? Oh, no, no. Uh, you know, probably uh, probably about a four-hour operation. And, um, you know, the goal of this type of surgery is to have him on the heart-lung machine for the shortest period of time possible. So, you know, hopefully a, an hour and a half on a heart-lung machine and and uh, about four hour operation and uh, everything goes as planned. Now, a quick question, I've noticed that the amount of time that you spend scrubbing is, is significant. It's not like just you're washing your hands you know, after dinner. Why, in terms of why you scrub for so long, what is, what's the benefit of that to the, to the safety of the procedure? Well, the standard scrub time is about three minutes and that's uh, something that's been studied uh, and it's the primary goal is to just increase the amount of time that you have antibacterial soap on your skin and to try to eliminate, you, you can never completely eliminate, but try to markedly reduce the chances of having any bacteria on your skin or fingernails or hands. You know, we wear gloves, I double glove for every surgical procedure, but uh, it's invariable that uh, during the course of an operation you could have a micro perforation in a glove. Um, so it's just standard sterile technique to scrub. Uh, you know, three minutes is about average. I probably scrub a little more than that. I probably scrub and rinse and more soap and scrub and rinse. And, uh, you know, it's all about trying to reduce the chances of the patient getting an infection. You know, our, infec our sternal wound infection right here is about 0.5%, which, uh, We'd like it to be 0.0%, .0 but that is uh, 0.5 is below the STS national average, and uh, you know we're we're pretty happy with that. But you you always want perfection. Great, thanks so much. All right. <laughs>